This is an interesting math question. We have a big rectangle which is divided into four different portions using vertical and horizontal lines like this. The area of this portion is 15 units square, then the area of this portion is 6 units square, and the area of this portion is 14 units square. Now the question says, what will be the area of this portion? Before we begin, note that this figure is not drawn to scale. First of all, let us label this portion as 1, this as 2, this as 3, and this as 4. Now we know that in the case of any rectangle of side length A and B, its area is given as A times B. But we don't know anything about the side lengths of these rectangles, and we only know about the areas. So you should keep in mind that for such questions, it's often helpful to assume side lengths as some variables and express the areas in terms of these variables. Let me show you how. Let us assume this side length is equal to A. So if this is A, then this will also be equal to A. Then assume this is B, and thus this will also be equal to B. Now if this is C, then this will also be equal to C. And finally, if this is D, then this will also be equal to D. After we are done with labeling side lengths, we've turned a confusing picture into a simple set of variables. So, now we should write the area of each rectangle as the product of its side lengths. For portion 1, or this rectangle, what will be its area? Yes, right, it will be A times C, because the side lengths of this rectangle are A and C. But area is given as 15, and thus we have AC equals 15. Now for portion 2, we have B times C equals 6, because the side lengths of this rectangle are B and C, and its area is given as 6. Similarly, for portion 3, we have B times D equals 14, because the sides are B and D, and the area is 14. Now for portion 4, we need to find its area, which will be equal to A times D. Now what to do? Let us call this product AD as X. Let us multiply this equation with this equation. So from here, we get AC multiplied by this BD, which equals 15 times 14. So this gives A times B times C times D equals 15 times 14, right? Next, multiply this equation with this equation. We get BC from here times AD from here equals 6 times X. So this also gives A times B times C times D equals 6 times X. But hey, both of them represent the same quantity as this one, so we can equate them. 15 times 14 equals 6 times x. Now, to solve for x, divide by 6 on both sides to get x equals 15 times 14 over 6. This 15 is 3 times 5, and 14 is 2 times 7. Also, 6 is 2 times 3, so both 2 and 3 get cancelled out. And we are left with 5 times 7, which means x equals 35. And that's it. The area of this portion is 35 square units. So good!